letters, um, random kind of marks, surf surfaces that look like they've been kind of abused or well, even something, even something like this. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the background, but I'll take a perfectly good piece of plywood and then start distressing it, you know, punching holes into it, taking a saw, scratching it up. Uh, as a matter of fact, this entire shape was covered with writing one time. I just took a phrase, The Loss of Innocence. I thought that was a good title for a particular painting. I was hoping to mount on this. And I just started writing it across in ink like hundreds and hundreds of times. And finally I, I didn't look good and painted it over and over. And that's kind of that, that graffiti, you know, symbols. And, uh, Sometimes I'll play that off, you know, against a real smooth surface, you know, something that looks rough, almost like, um, you know, old furniture mm -hmm. or something that's antique. You know, it has a has a patina. It's been it's been it's been weathered. It's uh, it's lit. It's been around. It's gone through several transmogrifications. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was green, then it was painted red, then it was painted blue, then it was worn away, and um, somebody repainted it, or they missed a spot, or they added something to it, and then it was later uncovered. In other words, it, it kind of has gone through changes. It's it's moving, it's breathing, it's shifting, and I like that. I don't like art that's real static. I guess you could. I guess you could make that comparison with the way it looks, you know, and the way that I would like it to be felt. Um, almost all these surfaces, these metal surfaces, have already had another life, previous life, you know. Was well, any particular artist who, who, a famous artist, that the average person would know about that has the opposite view that they would want things static and everything. Polished and oh yeah, um, well, I guess I mean in a sense you know you could say Salvador da his his surfaces are so perfect, perfectly painted, smooth and and and, and almost where you can't see the brushwork, but I wouldn't necessarily call them static. I would say and the same with Magritte, you know. Yep. That the, the idea is shifting and changing, and the way that they've distorted the, the image creates a, a sense of movement in a, in a way, I guess. But the surface itself is very smooth, is very finished. You know? I think Matisse and Picasso, a lot of their work, it has a lot of changes that you can see. You, know, you can look at the world. Earlier changes, you know, changes of view, uh, change their mind. They're not afraid to let it show.